Greetings, River Lady here, and this video will be a little noisy. I'm at the entrance to my local shopping center, and um, there's all these hydrangeas that are at the entrance of the parking lot, and they are Endless Summer Original Hydrangeas, so they are the ones that bloom blue. So we have 14 plants, and I am baffled. The landscaping company came in, what month are we in? The middle of March? Probably the middle of February with their hedge trimmers and went with their machine cut off all the blossoms that were set last year and I guess they're encouraging growth on the new wood and they don't care about the blooming on the old wood let's go in tight and see what the plants are doing all right so here we have a little mound they took took off all the old buds and let's see any buds in there I don't see anything let me go to another plant and see what's going on let's come to this little guy I'm actually fascinated by this pruning method because I was taught and I've always taught that for mop head hydrangeas that bloom on old wood you don't do a pruning like this because you're cutting off last year's buds. However, I did do that experiment last year in 2021 where I did cut down some of my hydrangeas. I was told I would get a plethora of blossoms, which I did not. There's a little bud right there. As I mentioned, or did I mention it, the landscaping company for this shopping center does this every year. Every winter they come in and just mow these hydrangeas down. These hydrangeas sit in full sun. They don't get a regular watering other than rain, and yet they manage to bloom really well. Is it a plethora of blossoms? Nah, I wouldn't say it's a plethora of, broth of blah, 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 blossoms, but they bloom really well. So maybe we need to stop handling our hydrangeas with kid gloves. I don't know, but this is not the type of pruning that I was taught. If we look across the parking area, the bank across the way, and their hydrangeas are still the way mine are. The interesting thing about those hydrangeas is they never get pruned, yet they still manage to bloom really well. What are your thoughts? What do you do with your mop head hydrangeas? Do you cut them all the way back or do you prune them the way that I prune them? Selectively going through and pruning them back to the first viable bud along the length of the stem. I'd love to know. Please post in the comments. And I thank you for watching. This is River Lady saying, happy gardening.